At Tour in the Chateau region of France, a memorial fountain commemorates the achievements of the men who served in the services of the spy of the American Expeditionary Forces. Their work behind the battle line made possible the brilliant success of the American fighting unit. The ceremony of dedication is attended by distinguished French officials, the official American delegation, and many officers of the French Army and Navy. The streets are crowded with French citizens who have come to honor the wartime achievement of the American supply organization. flags of the American Legion and the veterans of foreign wars add color to the occasion. opens with prayers by the Reverend Perry Smith, Father O'Connor, and Rabbi Aronson. Reverend Smith is speaking. The high and mighty ruler of the universe, who hast made of all nations of one blood, who dost from thy throne behold all that dwells upon the face of the whole earth, who did send thy only Son, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, to preach peace to them that are far off and to them that are nigh, Give us grace to lay to heart the great dangers we are in in this world by our unhappy divisions. Take away all hatred and prejudice, and whatsoever may hinder us from godly union and concord. We hardly beseech thee, our Father, in whose hands are both the living and the dead, with thy favor to behold and bless those thy servants who, having fought the fight and finished their course in faith, you now rest from their labor. Mrs. Henry Fenimore Baker, a member of the American Battle Monuments Commission, makes the principal address. We have listened with deep interest to the story of this beautiful memorial that commemorates the marvelous achievements of over 650,000 of our American boys who worked behind the line. We mothers, wives, back home of those same boys gloried in their splendid services. We were proud of their work, so vast and so complicated. Our task was not so easy. We all need a spiritual awakening, for any nation that forgets God will perish. My message to the mothers of the world is get back to God. Instill in the hearts of our men not only love of country, but love of God and humanity. Only then will the peace of the world and the cause for which our sons died come to pass. General Vincent Cini, the Quartermaster General of the French Army, expresses the admiration of the French for the outstanding work of the American services of supply. Les autres forment maintenant sous des croix de marbre dans sa merveilleuse nécropole. L'œuvre des services n'était pas encore achetée. Le génie et l'intendant ont eu la tâche sacrée d'aménager ces cimetières et de veiller sur les milliers de sépultures. Mr. Dave Fauste, representing the French Minister of the Interior, makes the address of welcome. The Honorable Charles A. Eaton, member of Congress from New Jersey, and an official American delegate, makes an inspiring speech of dedication. We were not willing to see the pole star of human hope and destiny plucked from the sky by the bloody hand of war. America is free. We want the world to be free. That was the mighty urge which caused the American government and people to break from their fixed foreign policy of 140 years 
and which made it possible for our American-minded General Pershing to salute the image of Lafayette and say, we are here. The monument is unveiled. The bronze sculptured group surmounting the monument is designed by Mr. Steve T. Genowine of New York and won a gold medal in competition. The star figures represent administration, construction, procurement, and distribution, the four great branches of the services of supply organization. French troops pass in review to stirring music by the band of the 3rd French Air Division. 